When we think of places you might find life, we typically think of the Goldilocks zone around a star where water would be liquid in its natural state. And if you get a little too close to the star, heat would evaporate the water and you don't have it anymore, it's gone. Too far away, it would freeze. And neither of those states of H2O are, are useful to life as we know it. We need liquid water. So you can establish this green zone, this habitable zone, this Goldilocks zone, where if you find a planet orbiting there, hey, it's a good chance it could have liquid water. Let's look there first for life as we know it. Now, it turns out that this source of heat, of course, is traceable to the sun. And if you go farther out, everything would or should be frozen, all other things being equal. But Europa, a moon of Jupiter sitting well outside of the Goldilocks zone, is kept warm, not from energy sources traceable to the sun, but from what we call the tidal forces of Jupiter itself. So Jupiter and surrounding moons are actually pumping energy into Europa. And how does it do that? As Europa orbits Jupiter, its shape changes. It's not fundamentally different from tides rising and falling on Earth. The shape of the water system of the Earth is responding to tidal forces of the moon. And when you do that to a solid object, the solid object is, is stressing. And because of this, a consequence of this is that you are pumping energy into the object. It is no different from when you say, uh, anyone who's familiar with racket sports, indoor racket sports, you, could be a racket ball or squash. You say, let's warm up the ball before we start playing. 